Hey everybody, Mike Dukes here. I'm with Karen. This little person. This is Mau Mau, who I'm told uh, likes to greet you when you first walk in. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. You're not? No, but she looks a lot like Dobby. If you, you know, are petting her, her ears go down. <laughs> I don't know, it's because they're pink. So, so what do we know about Mau Mau? Um, Mau Mau's about just under two years. I said a, a year and nine months and super friendly. Good looking cat, really, really friendly. And she was adopted, but then returned owner issues, not her own issues, which is a lot of times the case. And she's just great cat. Really, really friendly if you want. She's curious about being in here, but she doesn't mind being petted or picked up and really nice. Good looking cat. Looking for a home? And she's free. <laughs> so we're still running our uh, fee waived adoption events for cats. We're going to waive our fees um, as long as we can. So we were fortunate to get some money from the, we've won a raffle at the mega adoption event. And um, so we're able to cover adoption fees until we can't. So. This is a good way. We've got lots and lots and lots and lots of cats. So definitely come in and adopt one or two. Lots of kittens, lots of cats. Even the kittens are fee waived now. So, and they come with the same things. They're all spay neutered, spay or neutered. They're um, vaccinated, microchipped, and then they will get their rabies vaccines from their uh, wellness exam. So it's a great deal. She wants to go look around. Well. There are a lot of toys, lot of in, toys here. in here. Again, in our nice uh, interaction room. This is these uh, adoption interaction rooms have been getting a lot of use. So it's really nice to have an inside spot to be able to meet a pet. And how are the uh, outdoor pens doing? Are the dogs loving that? Oh yeah, the dogs love the um, play group. Um, we have a little bit of upper respiratory in dogs right now, so we're suspending our play groups for a couple days, but um, they're still available to meet for meet and greets. If you want to meet a dog, you can take them outside into the runs. And um, for our volunteers, the whole property is fenced in, so it's a great place to walk a dog. So we're getting all that going. We're just, tomorrow will be three weeks we're in here, and it's been a little overwhelming. We are grateful for everyone's patience but um, new, a lot of growing pains in here. <laughs> and then the grand opening and the ribbon cutting is Thursday the 16th Yes. at 1 p.m.? Yes, at 1. So it'll be, a, it'll be um, fast and friendly. We'll cut the ribbon and say a few words, and then if you haven't been here yet, you can come in and look around. So, and then we'll officially business as usual. So that's what I'm hoping. So. Yeah, so they actually do open at noon, business as usual, 1 o'clock, we're all going to gather around, cut a ribbon, say a few words, yep. and then right back to business as usual. Mm -hmm. Right, buddy? It's a good time to adopt a pet. Always a good time to adopt a pet. But we've got lots of cats, lots of dogs. We're full. Our adoptions are way up since we moved. Our intake is also up, which these were things that we expected to happen, but... Um, it's all good. If you haven't driven by, I strongly suggest you do so. This place is beautiful, amazing, and unlike our previous location, easy to find. Yes, easy to find. So, and the um, Cat Cafe is, we're planning on opening the end of August, so check our Facebook page and we'll keep you posted on that. We will have a, a Facebook page for the cafe as well so we're if you've applied to volunteer there you will be getting a call in the next couple weeks so um, and if you haven't if you're interested in, in volunteering either at the shelter or in the cafe um, get online and look on how to help or else go to the um, tab that says cat cafe and there's an application online for that I know the cat cafe is the one thing people keep asking about People really want to drink their beverages and pet the cats. <laughs> yep. So see, yeah, that look forward to at the end of August. 
And then August 16th, that Thursday, 1 p.m., we're cutting a ribbon, we're making it all official. And in the meantime, fee waved cats and kittens. Yeah, come meet Mama. She's a nice cat. <laughs> Mau Mau, Dobby, Dobby Mau Mau. Think of the name combinations you could have there. So come meet Mau Mau. Come check out all the cats and kittens, dogs, rabbits. I thought I heard someone we say a, a gerbil. Guinea, we have a guinea pig. Guinea pig, okay. It was a stray found in, um, I don't know if it was in Highland Park or Foster Park. I think Foster Park. Yeah, caught in a live trap. <laughs> He's a nice guinea pig. Is that a first, a stray guinea pig? We've had stray rabbits, domestic rabbits. People get tired of them and they let them loose. It's a bad idea. They are not equipped. This one seemed to do okay. Didn't cross the street, um, but it's, they're not used to fending for themselves, so it's really not a great idea. If you have one that you can no longer take care of, bring them to us, because we'll hopefully get them anyway. <laughs> I actually thought about that, because on my way back from lunch in someone's front yard, two rabbits were running around playing. Was like, as my first thought was, please tell me those were not pets that someone just let loose. Because, yeah, they're not equipped for that. Why don't you domesticate them? Uh, letting them loose is not a good idea. So cats, kittens, they're all fee-waved. Get in here. Come witness the glory of the new Cocoa <laughs> Humane Society, and we will see you next week. <laughs>